So, quick update for you. Um, what I have been up to since I um, got home from Holland. So, let's go. So, one of the things I have been doing is I have cleaned out the filler room. So, everything is looking good, except I have been messing around with PP, so yeah, doesn't look good, but the filler room is cleaned, everything is nice, and I have been treating for flukes, so we got PP in this, it's uh, the third day today, and I have been treating the, um, the main pond as well, they did the uh, third day yesterday, so they are all good now. So I have been having a small problem since uh, since the incident back in, in July. Um, after the, yeah, at that time I basically drained out the pond, moved the fish, all that stuff. Uh, it was a huge stress event, so of course it triggered the flukes. Uh, so I treated for flukes and uh, now I just uh, three days ago I did some scrapes couldn't find anything but they were flashing so I decided to give them a uh, pee, pee treatment and three days in a row and now they're looking good quite active again so yeah everything is running perfect I changed my um, pre-filters yesterday as well, put some, uh, yeah, I ran out of uh, the small filters, so I, I made a small uh, filter for the first one, nothing in the second one, then we have some uh, zeolite and some uh, active carbon, um, because zeolite is uh, actually quite effective. Um, removing metals and that stuff and it's actually it's better than uh, the bone jar the bone jar is a, it's, yeah, it's a different story but um, it's not as effective as people think it is but I'm not gonna go into that it's it's a rabbit hole so we don't do that and um, here are some, some of the three bonsais I got from uh, Holland Kosho. I got my protein skimmer. That one is coming up. I got my ozone generator. Made, yeah, by me. 3D printed. So what we got is uh, we got a um, high voltage power supply inside. And we got a um, glass tube with some uh, metal mesh inside and outside. And that uh, creates ozone. So yeah, I um, this is the first version. I'm uh, printing some new um, end plates to it because it it uh, it doesn't seal that good. So I um, drawed some uh, some new end plates with some uh, rubber seals on them, so it will seal better. So yeah, should be done in a few hours. Then I um, I did this, planted some. Uh, Small ferns. They are gonna spread out and cover the whole thing. The two concrete plates from uh, from Holland. Don't know now. It's sun is shining too much. Yeah, I'll show you later. Another one, same. Got um, this. Also, some uh, small ferns gonna cover up the whole thing. I will make some uh, some pathways in between. It's gonna look pretty good. And I got this one on Holland Kosho as well. And this one. This is not supposed to sit here, but yeah, my daughter placed it. So it's, it's coming together nicely. And I got my 
bamboo. I forgot to water it. So we will see if I can bring that back to life. Yeah. Let's see if we can turn that wipe down a bit. Yeah, like that. That's better. So yeah. We changed the um, polish sheet on top yesterday as well. The old one was getting quite dirty, so yeah, looking good. We got, see, we got some water over there. I will punch a hole and let it drain. Yep, here we have the plates, looking quite good. So the plan was to get four of these, but they were already sold out when I um, got to him, so I, he had two left. So yeah, looking pretty good. I want to make, let's see, from here, make a pathway of stepping stones like that over to the pond. Yeah, looks good. And fish is doing well. I added clay yesterday, so it's already cleaned out pretty good. Yeah, that is actually what I've been up to. And the also generator is it's a prototype for um, the one I want to make to uh, for the big pond. Uh, but it's this one is it's too big. It's uh, three grams an hour, so it's it's an insane amount of of ozone to put on a pond, in my opinion. So I, I think I want to do two grams. For, uh, for the big pond, and I got a 15, 500 milligrams uh, on the small one. Um, with, it's working good, but I want to improve it a bit. So I designed this um, protein skimmer. So I'm gonna use the protein skimmer to uh, yeah make some uh, protein, get it out of the water, but I also want to use it as a reactor for the ozone so I um, they, they also don't have time to work before it gets in into the pond so it's it's more efficient that way in instead of just putting in in the pond with the with air stone so that's the idea I will cover this um, I will make its own video how I install it and how it works and all that stuff so yeah, that's basically the idea. And if uh, this works, I'm gonna do um, an ozone reactor for the big pond as well. So this one, I'm gonna test out on my uh, IPC tank. Um, I'm recycling, not at the moment, but, but I did recycle my water at some point uh, for the drum. And the reason for that is uh, water here in Denmark is quite expensive. Uh, we are looking at yeah, 10, 10 pounds per cubic meter, so it's it's quite expensive. And I actually talked to a guy in uh, in Holland about it. At, um, he showed me he showed me his water bill, and for two hundred and sixty-eight, fifty-eight, eighty-six, two hundred eighty-six. Um, cubic meters he only paid 407 euros that is as cheap as, as it gets and, and that he actually said that that's why uh, jump filters in Holland is not a problem because they just top it up but if I should buy 286 cubic meters in Denmark boy that's gonna be expensive I think I calculated around 3,000 euros. Yeah, three thousand. Yeah, around more than three thousand. More than three thousand euros. So that's expensive. So I'm gonna recycle uh, the water from from my drum filter and all the water I use for for cleaning my filters. And I'm gonna use ozone 
in that IPC tank to get rid of all the nasty stuff that's in there. Um, the problem is the filter, the filters I made for it is not working. So I'm gonna have to redesign that. I'm thinking some kind of a vortex so everything can settle down and just overflow into uh, another filter. And yeah, I'll figure something out. But uh, that's, uh, that's the plan so far. So these two videos will be coming up, the filters and the reusage of the, I don't know if that's a word, but how I reuse the water and the filter system for it. And I will make a video of the uh, protein schema, the install and how it works and all that stuff. Um, yeah. And maybe, yeah, let, I, I will show you what it looks inside. Just give me a second. So we're in the workshop. I'm gonna show you how the uh, ozone look like. And if I can find it, it's a mess over here. But we have this high voltage um, power supply. And let me see if I can find the ozone tube. Normally we have these um, small chips. I found them on, on uh, AliExpress quite cheap. So yeah, that's uh, the normal uh, chips for um, for ozone. And yeah, like I said, it's it's quite a mess over here at the moment. Here it is. So this is a ozone tube. Works the same way. We got. Um, let's see if I can get it out. We got some metal mesh on the, on the inside, and we got some metal mesh on the outside. And uh, that's that is basically mounted inside a um, PVC pipe, two inch, I think. And of course, without these uh, white mountings, but yeah, mounted inside. Um, this tube, and we got a inlet in the inside, uh, in this side, and an outlet in the other side, and this uh, is basically um, one is connected to um, to the outside mesh, and one to the inside mesh, and you put it in uh, the plug, turn on the power, and you got ozone. Quite simple. But yeah, that is um, that is how it's working. So let's get back to the pond. So let me show you the design of the uh, ozone box. Let me just turn off the sketches. Uh, like that. So here's the ozone box. As you can see, it's two end plates and just a box. And we got some, um, here we got a um, hose connector. And we got the um, reducer for uh, the, um, it's from uh, two inch to one and a half inch. So they fit over these. And we got, let me show you. We got room for uh, two um, O-rings. So we put O-rings in place here. And we put, This one, or this end, we put that over the O-rings, uh, and this one is glued into the pipe. And we got a seal, because we don't want it to leak. And inside we got um, where, the, um, where the power supply sits, and on the other end, we got a um, hole for the um, wire. And this small piece, let's see if I can zoom in on, on it. This small piece is actually for the um, ozone tube. So it fits over the ozone tube, and the other side fits inside the PVC pipe. So it's hold in place. So that's the whole idea of the ozone box.
I may change the design a bit so the lid is actually screwed on because it's yeah it's hard to get inside and and fix stuff or take stuff out if uh, we don't have a lid on it but yeah so far it's it's good it's just uh, yeah it's just for me so it's basically fine and so yeah this fits a um, three gram ozone tube it also fits uh, because it's uh, two grams is is shorter so it also fits inside but you can get it all all the way up to seven grams nine grams i think but they're quite long and it's way too much ozone to put on the pond so i think this this design is going to work pretty good pretty good let me know what you think in the comments i think it's a good design simple design so yeah let's go back to the pond so that was um yeah the uh, ozone design and um the ozone parts and I found them on, on uh, AliExpress and the same for these small uh, chips for the um, yeah the ozone unit I got from uh, from Skeggy I don't know is it eco filtration yeah I think it is you can uh, the chips can you buy you can buy on uh, AliExpress and the same for the uh, <sighs> power supplies um, but yeah, there are some technical stuff like they're not approved in Europe and that stuff. But yeah, you can find some that are CE marked. So uh, look out for that one if you're buying from AliExpress. And yeah, take care if you're doing it yourself because it's um, the ozone like this is high voltage. So it um, yeah, just take care. So yeah guys, that was um, a short update, um, yeah, and let's see if I can get this filtration worked out for the uh, IPC tank this week, and I will keep you updated. So yeah, questions, uh, anything, drop them down in the comments, and uh, like and subscribe, it help, really helps me out, so yeah, and other than that guys, take care, see you on the next one.